my dear students i am javed ahmed from srm welkin high secondary school so for today we are going to discuss about the very important and interesting topic of physics that is usually taught in class 9th and 11th as well as that's momentum momentum can be defined as the quantity of motion contained in a body how much the motion possessed by a body that is momentum as we know that quantity of motion in a body can be produced or destroyed by the application of force on it therefore momentum of a body is measured by the force required to stop a moving body it depends upon two things one is the mass of a body when a ball and a big piece of stone are allowed to fall from some height we find that a much greater force is required to stop the big piece of stone than the ball thus we can conclude that the large larger the mass of a body greater is it a linear momentum so we can say my dear students the momentum of a body depends upon the mass heavier the body more will be the momentum as it is directly proportional to the momentum that's we can say here we can write it as that is momentum p is directly proportional to m greater the mass of a body greater will be the momentum second thing it depends upon the velocity of a body a bullet thrown with the hand can be stopped much more easily than the same bullet fired from a gun this is because in the later case the velocity is much larger therefore the larger the velocity of a body greater is it a linear momentum that's why we say that the velocity of a body is also responsible for the momentum of a body so here we can represent it as that is momentum is also directly proportional to velocity or in nutshell we can say the momentum of a body depends upon its mass and velocity of the body it is measured as a product of it is measured as a product of mass into velocity as we know momentum is a vector quantity it is represented by the letter p with the arrow headed all those vector all the quantities which are vectors are having magnitude as well as direction that's why i have shown here the arrow is equal to the mass into velocity so we can say momentum is a vector quantity its direction is along the direction of velocity so the si unit of momentum is as we know that the momentum depends upon mass into velocity so we can say its si si unit will be kg meter per second because the unit of mass is kg and the velocity unit of velocity is meter per second so the momentum of so the unit of momentum is kg meter per second so it was all about the momentum of a body suppose we have a body which is at rest we can say its momentum is zero because momentum is the term which is associated with the moving bodies as the body is in rest its velocity is zero so we can write here it as p will be equal to the body is having mass but its velocity is zero so anything multiplied by the zero is equal to zero so its momentum is 0 kg meter per second so all those bodies which are having a motion will possess momentum thank you it was all about the momentum